Hey everyone, this is Samantha and this is my new channel. Thank you guys for clicking and saying I wanna, basically when you clicked on this video it meant that you wanted to see this, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, well, I'm gonna die. So um, I have this Valentine's Day look for you. Um, I never really do pink on my face cause mama's got an issue with pink, but I thought why not? It's Valentine's Day almost, so people probably want to see some Valentine's Day's look. Valentine's Day looks, yeah. Um, so if you want to see how I create this, then please keep on watching. So I'm gonna start just toning and getting rid of any of my moisturizer that I had put on last night. And I'm using the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. I like to take it down my neck too. Behind my neck. It doesn't have alcohol in it, which is really nice because I have very sensitive skin. As you can see, my face is already getting red from it. So now I'm gonna take this Becca Backlight Priming Filter and this basically just is to prime, as the name implies. Samantha, very smart. And this one is kind of like illuminating, so it gives your face a little bit of shine, which is nice, especially if you're dry and skin. Dry and skin. If you have dry skin. I used to have very oily skin, especially my T-zone, but now, um, I don't know what that was. Uh, but now I have kind of like normal to dry skin. Um, I would say that's combo. So now to prime kind of the T-zone area where I have a lot of pores. It minimizes the look of pores, absorbs oil, mattifies shine. So I enjoy it. Dr. Brandt Pores No Mo. Well, basically I just take a little bit of this and put it where I have pores. Of course, because the name says pores no more. So it kind of diminishes the look of pores. I usually like to pat it because when I rub, it starts getting like, it balls up kind of. So now I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. My color is porcelain. You'll get to know me and you know that literally every foundation that I use is gonna be either the lightest or, if it's Cap on D, the lightest is like too light, but I'm usually the lightest. So I'd say that this foundation is pretty light coverage. Um, I would say like light to medium maybe if you build it. It looks very natural if foundation could be natural. It has SPF in it, which is really nice. I usually wear this foundation when I'm trying to like actually match my skin tone. And I don't want like 10 million layers of foundation because sometimes I don't want that, which is strange. And if you stick with my channel, you'll see that I really just like dramatic makeup and I don't really ever do like everyday, simple, smoky eye. Like I'm with Nikki Tutorials. I really don't enjoy natural makeup looks because you're putting makeup on your face for a reason. It's not natural, it's not. I don't know, I just enjoy the artistry of more like complicated looks and I feel like you can go to any other channel and see like simple, everyday, smoky eye or no makeup, makeup look and this ain't the channel for that, so. I like to take my foundation to my ears too because they get really freaking red. Fun times. I have very large um, freckles that aren't very dark anymore, but they're darker obviously than my skin tone. And so those are very hard to cover up. They're not showing up too much in the viewfinder, but I don't really enjoy them and I have opinions about people drawing on freckles. That's you. I'm judging you. 
you do you, but personally, freckles don't show up just real cute right in the center and they're like little tiny dots. That's not real. It's not realistic. Some people do have that, but it's very rare. And y'all need to look at some people who have actual freckles and see what, what's going on. Because for me, freckles like right next to my eye and um, below the contour line. Oh my God, weird. Also on your eyelid, mm. you don't draw fake freckles on your eyelid, do you? What about on your lips? Yeah, that's cute. Rant over it. I don't particularly enjoy individuals who do that. Anyway, um, I think we've fucking patted on this for like 10 hours, so I think we're good. For concealer, I'm gonna use this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, it's real cool. It's very thick, um, so if you don't like that, then don't use it. But it's full coverage, anti-aging, real awesome, if you ask me. I'm just gonna warm this up on my hand because it's easier to use, because it gets more liquidy. Pat that on here, like so. Just kinda tap it in a little bit. And so I'm just gonna use my beauty sponge and blend this out. So nice and bright. Cute. You can also put this like wherever else you want. Like I'm gonna put it next to my nose because I get real red. So obviously this is a new channel. I've been doing makeup though for probably like five years. Um, I had a YouTube channel, a fail, if you ask me. I tried, um, but I was just too busy and not like in it to win it enough. It kind of just went downhill because I graduated a semester early. I have this semester kind of um, to do whatever I want and I'm working and I'm deciding to do YouTube again, which I think is pretty cool. Do you guys have any like recommendations or requests for videos? I am all ears. I kind of just want to put out things that people want to watch instead of Putting out like stuff that people don't want to watch. I mean, weird, but true. So just let me know. I have the Laura, Laura, Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder that literally everyone uses, and um, it's real good if you have oily T zone. I don't have an oily T zone very much anymore, but I still like to set it. Um, I usually set my smile lines. Nobody wants to see those. So going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, of course. Why am I looking at it? I know what it is. It's kind of upsetting that I have two Tarte things in my video right now, but I bought them before they fucked up. So. Press that in. The reason why I don't like to use that heavier concealer for my eyelids the problem with eyelids for eyeshadow is because it's very thick and it creases much more than this Tarte Shape Tape. The Tarte Shape Tape is not light enough. It's the lightest shade, but it really doesn't highlight anything for my life. I just use the Tarte Shape Tape because it's really good eyeshadow primer, but it doesn't work to highlight. So I just use it for my eyes. So now I'm just gonna set that too because Obviously under the eyes as well. So good. Do that. You can see what's happening. This is to prevent creases. Which is basically where product gets all nice and warm and fuzzy inside your fucking lines in your face, which no one fucking wants. So, so I'm taking this big fluffy powder brush by Morphe. It's a E2. And just putting like the tiniest amount and just kind of like pressing it into my skin. I hate putting bronzer and blush and highlight on without setting that area because it gets very like sticky and then it rubs the product off. Going in with your bronzer or your contour or whatever, it's like I'm taking all my foundation off and that's not something I want to have happen. That's what powder is for before the powder, the pre-powder. 
the pregame powder. I'm using the Physician's Formula butter bronzer in. That's right, it's light. Smile, which I never do. Put it in the right places. I kind of like to put it in this like kind of C shape. I'm gonna put that also on the top of my forehead because I need that bronzer helmet at Desi Prison. So we have our bronzer on. Now for contour, I'm gonna use this Smashbox contour kit thingy. Kind of like contour shade or whatever. And contour. Like that. I like to bring it all the way back to my ear because since I have short hair, I don't have like that like buffer area. So we're gonna take it back so it looks natural. I actually usually take this also onto my chin. So as you can see, like I've a pretty defined jawline. I just like to shade a little. Boom! This is sad. This is a sad area. I need to fix it. Did you just see that transformation? Oh yeah, and I also take it on my nose because this nose needs it. People, this nose needs work. Work for it. Then I use my highlight and my blush after I do my contour and bronzer. Um, I do highlight and then blush because I feel like the highlight can be like a strip and sometimes that's nice but usually it's not. Um, so when is it? I usually do highlight and then blush. Um, the blush kind of just blends out the highlight a little bit more which is nice. The blush that I'm going to use is the Milani Baked Blush. It's Luminoso. If you don't already have this, okay. So basically, I use this uh, Morphe E4 brush, which is real nice and cute. And I go here, do this. I like to blend it into my hairline because. Again, it's all about blending. You don't wanna know where your blush starts and when it ends. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And it's in the Gleam variety. And I'm gonna use um, Star Burst. I'm not sure if it's actually called Star Burst. I switched out some colors of this one and put it in a different one. That doesn't make sense. This might not be Starburst. It might be some other color. <clears throat> but it's yellow. Well, it's not very yellow. You'll see. Use this Laura Geller brush. I got, I think it, I got it in an Ipsy bag or something. And we're just gonna glow, baby. See, it doesn't look yellow on the skin, but it looks super yellow in the pan. So, I'm usually like, if that's yellow, it's gonna make my whole face look yellow. We're just glowing. Look how beautiful that is. The chin, the cheeks, the nose. Just on the highest points. And I like to put it here, my forehead. Some people don't like doing this. I do, so. Oh, did I lie? Oh my God, I lied. I put my blush and then my, my highlight on. Wow, that was sad. Okay, well, if you do that and you didn't mean to, just go over with your blush a little bit to, you know. Okay. We're gonna go in with the new Dare to Create Morphe palette. Um, I think it's limited edition, so if you didn't get it, what are you doing? It's still out, but it's running until they're, they run out of product. So get it while you can, because it's so amazing. Look at that. You 
don't want this, you don't want this, you do. If you're watching this and it's already sold out, sorry, but like, you should have got on this bus. You can use other like colors that you have from other palettes that look the same. If you can find similar eyeshadows use them. So I'm going to use this um, Morphe M504 and I'm going to use this <laughs> eyeshadow right there. And I'm just going to start blending this. So let me know in the comments what you guys do for Valentine's Day. I usually sit on my ass and eat so much food that I might die. <laughs> That's just me. I think I would do that even if I had a boyfriend, TBH. After we blend that thoroughly in the crease, um, we're gonna go in with some pretty bright colors. Look how dirty this is. So I'm just rubbing the excess off. That's what I do. If you guys don't wanna clean your brushes every single time you use them, just rub them off. Rub it. We're going to use the color Create in the Morphe palette, which is a really nice pinky color. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Basically, I'm doing a hot halo eye. We're putting this pink eyeshadow on the outer and inner corners, and then leaving the center bare. We're also putting it in the crease. The center is for a shimmery eyeshadow. You don't have to put a shimmery eyeshadow. You could put a glitter. You could put a matte eyeshadow. Should you? Swirling around this uh, pink eyeshadow all over the eye, which I never do. But you know what? For all y'all who want a pink look for Valentine's Day, you're getting it. So once you're done blending it all out, blend it some more. We're also gonna take this on the lower lash line. Same color, but on the lower lash line. Oh my God, what? For this look, we're doing kind of like a circular shape so we're not like winging it out or anything, you know? Because I blend like a mofo, I'm gonna blend some more with this big brush that we used before. It doesn't really have any product, probably just like leftover product from when we did the transition shade. Now we are going to go in with Forever and we're going to use this Morphe E18. Pack it on our eyes in the same areas that we put the other one. But we're going to go lower, um, so we're not going to go all the way up here. We're going to probably like stay in the crease pretty nice and tight, um, but also on the outer and the inner and then on the lower lash line as well. Looks kind of red in the pan, but this color is more of like a purple, like a dark purple. I'm gonna blend this out with that same Morphe brush that we used, the pink. But we're also gonna take this dark plummy color, the bottom lash line. As you can see it, it became more purple than pink, which I enjoy personally. But if you want it to stay more pink, then just put more pink on there, to be honest. Do you wanna do that though? We'll do it to the other eye. Inner and outer corners, like I said. You don't have to be very like precise with this actually like i think that's why i really like halo eyes is that if you make them look kind of grungy that's pretty cute and grungy i mean like kind of messy and dark i think that like aesthetic is really pleasing to me but if you don't like that then don't do it obviously okay so i went ahead and try to make them as even as possible and now I'm gonna take this forever color and put that on the bottom lash line on the other eye. Like so. Patting it around to make it more seamless. So now what you wanna gonna wanna gonna hmm. Now what you're gonna wanna do 
is take your highlight shade, whatever you used on your face, which I use this yellow color, which again, is probably not Starburst, maybe it's like Sunburst or something. Probably that, actually. Um, I'm gonna put that on my eyebrow. We haven't done our eyebrows yet, but it's cause that takes me forever. And we're gonna do that off camera. And then I'm going to record an eyebrow tutorial so I don't have to do it every single time. I do a tutorial. I'm gonna pat that around the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and we'll be back. Eyebrows are done. I kind of did more of like a soft eyebrow, I feel, but it's not really showing up a soft on camera, so whatever. Give me a thumbs up if you want a eyebrow tutorial. I'm planning on doing it, but if people don't want it, then I won't do it. I'm putting this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on. So I'm just putting mascara on. How's your day going? I'm gonna put mascara on the bottom lash line as well, which is a little trickier, but you can do it, I believe in you. Surprised I haven't burped at all in this video. It's because I only had coffee. So we're gonna go in with two products. I'm gonna go in with the Melted Matte, um, Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star. And then also I'm gonna go in with this Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Gloss on top because it has some like cute reflex in it that we want on our lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. I like this one because it has a little bit more of a purpley pinky undertone as opposed to gray or orange. And for this eyeshadow look, we need a pinky purpley rather than a gray or an orange. You feel me? We're gonna go in with this gloss. It's called Diamond Dust. Shine bright like a diamond. Ooh. Yeah. To finish this look off, I'm going to spray the Makeup Forever um, Mist and Fix. I have a little baby one because mama doesn't have very much money in the bank, so yeah. I'm gonna fan it. I like to use a palette to fan it with. The reason why you spray like mist and fix or whatever on your face um, after you do your makeup is because you put like powder and stuff on your face and then when you put a spray on it makes it emollient again and so it basically kind of sinks into your skin and kind of reduces the look of powderiness. Maybe you like the look of powderiness but I don't. That's what I do. This is the finished look you guys. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video. Um, again this is a new channel so if you like my stuff give a thumbs up subscribe that would be very nice i would appreciate that i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um please subscribe like click the little bell button that'll basically let you know when i have a new video um yeah this is the final look Then keep on watching. <coughs> Thank you for clicking on this video because that basically means that you wanted to see what I got. Hey guys, my name is Samantha Duso. And I have blue hair. You want to see up my nose? <clears throat> I just thought it was weird. I always thought it was weird, this little, like, 
give it. But you know what? No one's gonna see that unless you're doing this to them. Which, unless you want them to see your nose hairs, I would not, not recommend. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. I mean, it shouldn't matter, but I'm a petty bitch, so. That's looking really fucking nice right now. Um, it usually doesn't look this nice. I usually have like hella issues. But we looking good. Okay. Enough fucking foundation. Can we stop? No, we can't. I think the issues with cameras is they make like my face look so good, but like in real life it doesn't look this good, so we working with it. If you guys haven't already noticed, my hair is short and it's like blue indigo. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. If you like the hair. The hair. The hair. Okay, we're done here. Don't get up all in my lines. Be gentle on your skin. JK, I'm never gentle. <laughs> Are everywhere. Because when you smile, mm. that's annoying as fuck. someone's here. Anyway. It's not meant to look natural. And if it does, you're doing something wrong. Just kidding. Damn it. Struggle boss. The world is your oyster. Just kidding. It's not an oyster. It's the world. I can't believe I'm putting pink on my face right now, you guys. I never put pink on my face. I never do. I never do. Things I will do for YouTube. Put pink on my face. If you want to watch YouTubers with colorful hair, then just watch me because this colored hair ain't going nowhere. Mm, that rhymed. With your mouth open like you want to eat food. Eat food. <laughs>